Hi, how are you guys doing today? I'm Jessel Pyramid, and I'm here to talk to you guys about culture and language. So these, well, these are pretty much my audiences. So would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Harz. I'm JSL's co-worker. Hi, I'm Millie, and I'm JSL's classmate. I'm Fatih. I'm his classmate. Hi, I'm Kewal, JSL's classmate. All right, so does anyone here know what culture is? Yeah, it's like a people, like culture is a right, like people's beliefs and I mean the S and all those things, the festivals, the like yeah, mm -hmm. like that together. Yep, you're partially right. It, it has like a lot of stuff included in that besides that, like, like let's, uh, let's pursue the next slide and then that should tell you. Yep. Okay, introduction, um, let's begin with culture. Culture includes clothing, food, accent, festivals, rituals. So clothing, as you could see, it's like I'm from India, so basically I'm gonna talk about Indian culture, American culture. So as you could see, like this will be like a wedding gown or a prom dress for you know a typical American, or if you live in the United States or something like that. But this, uh, this, this is sari, and that's basically an attire of Indian women for marriage or something like that. So this is basically a picture of Indian festival, Indian food. Um, we all know that's Christmas tree and uh, it's pasta food. So yeah, so that's that. And you're gonna have an accent if you come from a different country. It's you just adapt things from wherever you live. If you come here at a young age, then it'll be different because you just adapt the accent of that particular country. Um, okay, so rituals and customs, all the cultures they have totally different rituals and customs like the way they get married and all that um, let's see the language language is also a part of culture but it it is a part of culture but it's kind of separate because language might be related to culture but language it could be a first or second language let's just say if I'm from India my first language would be my mother tongue Gujarati and uh, my second language would be Hindi technically but if you come to the United States then you only speak Gujarati and English, so English will be your second language. And in India, there's total like about 18 languages and much more than that, like about 1,000 dialects. So that's a totally different story about that. So that was that for the culture and language. And uh, we all know uh, language is a medium of communication, but if you have problems you know, talking to someone, like, you know, who speaks English and you're trying to speak English too but you're not really sure of what you're saying but that will be like uh, it will be miscommunication and basically that brings like a lot of issues so here's a short clip that would show you like how miscommunication uh, can affect your life or something like that so let's just put it that Alright, so this video is basically about an Arab guy trying to open up a visa card and uh, you can just take a look what kind of situation he gets into. What is your name? Eh, Aziz! Mm -hmm. Six. Six to ten times a week? Mm. I, I mean, uh, male or female? Oh, We're both male and female. Sometimes even camels. Holy cow. Yes, cows and dogs too. Meh, isn't that hostile? Hostile? Dog style! <laughs> Any style! Oh dear. Dear? No dear. They run too fast. <laughs> Like, the guy wasn't trying to, you know, tell him, like, you know, he was only asking about his sex, like, what sex is a male or female, and he just ended up spreading information which he wasn't supposed to. So, that was that. Now, let's just proceed to the issues that we face if we, let's say, if I come from India and I don't know in English, so these are pretty much the issues that I'm going to face. One is accent. Obviously, no one's going to understand my accent because I'm from India. I mean, they will understand, but, you know, I have to be clear of what I'm saying. And illegal immigrants. Uh, there is like a lot of illegal immigrants. They come from like they just cross the border and come to the United States. Uh, and there are some other people from different countries. So what they do is they come in a pretext of fake visas and 
passports and all that, they get all done and they come here. And these, the main purpose of them to come here is to earn money. They, they're not really here for education or any other purpose. They just want to earn money, that's all. Um, the United States being a diverse community, uh, what they do is they just accept whoever. Uh, so that's another issue. When immigrants uh, reside here with some little or no knowledge of English, because if you live in the United States, you need to know English. If you don't know English, then basically uh, language uh, is going to be a big issue for you. Then bilingualism. Bilingualism is another issue these days because uh, let's say if I speak, I don't speak English, and I'm talking my language to you know one of my friends or something. And there's a guy standing there who doesn't understand my language, so. What they might think is that we, I'm basically talking about them, so you know there might be some problems with that too. And uh, for any other reason, whether it's from grocery shopping or you know filling up gas, that will be an issue. And it's also hard for individuals who come from other countries to communicate. And uh, yeah, that's an issue. But there is no obvious like you know there, there is a solution to every problem and. Uh, this is proceed to the next slide and that will show us the uh, solutions. Okay, so basically, uh, YWCA. What is YWCA? YWCA is uh, an institution which helps like helps out women, men, kids, and uh, people who are legal in the United States to learn English. What they do is uh, they will just take it. They have different kind of classes like citizenship classes, they have English speaking classes. Uh, they teach you English how to write, read. They also have different activities, you know, that you would enjoy. So uh, that's that. And then, because if you're, let's say, if you're like 40 or something and you want to learn English, you can't go to a high school or something because the age limit is like 20, 21 or something like that. And uh, that's why uh, they don't have any such like AASL programs for that too. If you go, if you're, if you're young at age like till 21, they they will accept in college or schools, and they have programs such as AESL programs. What they do is, AESL is basically American English as second language. So they will teach you English and they will train you in English until you get proficient. So that's what basically these two programs do. So you guys have any questions before we proceed to conclude? Yeah, I well, like you talking about this English class is like uh, for the YWCA, right? Mm -hmm. Like, do you have any idea like how much it costs or like? It's, a, it's, it's, a, uh, it's absolutely free. Yeah, there is no charge for it. What they do is like they will just make you sign a form mm -hmm. and they will take information just in case, you know, uh, and take a phone number down and all that just in case uh, there's a problem. Is it like based on the income or is it just free? Oh, no, 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 it's free of charge. There is no credit check or no income or anything like that. There's, you just fill out a form. So it's just for contact information. Okay. And it's basically voluntary. It's not like you're not know, being forced or anything. They just call you up, like, you know, rather than meetings. But basically, they do have classes like that every, like, Sunday or Wednesday. They'll just have time and let you guys know. And, uh, do you guys have any questions? Yeah, where are the YWCA centers located at? They are actually uh, located, um, I would say you can just go on the website, YWCA. If you if live in Bucks County, I live in Bucks County, so they are actually located. There are, like, a lot of them located in here. And if you go to the website, it will tell you like where they're located. But the, they'll give the address and information and all that. So, and they also have international, so, international by So that's so uh, they help too. All right. So yeah, that's all. here. Okay. So basically, I got all this uh, presentation done from these sources. So it's called "What Is Language." You guys should go to and Anthro. Palomar.edu. Um, it's a good website for uh, the English. Uh, and then uh, there's this YWC website, which I just told you guys about. So that's a really good source, too. There are actually a couple of books on it, too, Cultures and Languages. So if you go to a book survey, they have a lot, like, a lot of books which you could refer to. And uh, What is Culture? Uh, there's this website, and uh, there's a topic called What is Culture? It's uh, dfate.naeci.gc.ca. So that's a good website to refer to if you wanna take a look at that. And basically, we can conclude all this by saying that you know, no matter where you go, where you at, you know, you're always gonna have to learn and adapt the things 
provided by the country or something like that. You just have to adapt it. Like, if you don't adapt it, then there's no way for you to survive. Yeah.